Rhonda Clark makes only $20,000 yearly as a receptionist, not much for a single mother. I am I'm floating on the edge <laughs> um, each month. But she gets a boost from the state of Maryland each year at tax time, an $800 check in the form of an earned income tax credit. That's in addition to a similar federal tax credit program, which returns cash to low-income workers who fall below the poverty level. For a family of three, the threshold is $32,000 in yearly earnings. Both state and federal tax benefits help with everything from household bills to school clothes for her two children. And that extra boost of several hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars or so can be the extra amount that actually means people get above the poverty line um, for, their, for their children. But neighboring Virginia is one of 35 states with no earned income tax credit. So Deborah Small, also a working mom with two children, must get by with less. I think it could, would benefit me by, um, I said, um, just having still that little extra income coming in. Deborah works two jobs, one secretarial, the other as a clerk at a convenience store. Both Deborah Small and Rhonda Clark want to show their kids that a strong work ethic will keep families together and off the welfare rolls. And increasingly, state legislatures are becoming convinced that modest incentives for the working poor create a healthier society in which the poverty of one generation does not pass automatically to the next one. Dennis Trout reporting for Solutions.